Thank you, Christina. Mm -mm, good evening to all of you. It's a pleasure to be here in Ottawa. And this marks my third trip to Canada in the last 30 days. Uh, in early October, I visited Montreal and helped your economy by shopping, and then returned to Canada a few weeks later to host Campbell's Passion for Food in Vancouver with our retail partners. And tomorrow, I'm headed to Toronto for a town hall meeting with our Campbell team uh, in, in that city. But on behalf of everyone at Campbell, and especially our great Canadian team, including our new president of Campbell, Anna Dominguez, who's with us tonight, I am honored to accept this award from the Canadian American Business Council in the presence of so many distinguished dignitaries and guests, including Ambassador Dewar and Ambassador Heyman. Campbell is serving Canadian families and has been for 84 years and we continue to play an important role in fostering close economic ties between the United States and Canada. Since founding our operations in Canada in November 1930, Campbell has made significant investments in this business while promoting trade across borders. Today, we have an integrated North America supply chain spanning from Canada and the US anchored in this country by our headquarters in Toronto that employs 700 people and makes Campbell soups and broths as well as Habitat Soup, a Canadian brand that we acquired in 1989. Over the years, we've built strong relationships with Canadian farmers and suppliers and sh to share our commitment to quality. More than 70% of the fresh vegetables we use in Campbell's soup in Canada, such as potatoes, carrots, and mushrooms, are grown on Canadian farms within 300 kilometers of Toronto. And as Campbell's former ambassador to the US, Michael Wilson, often said, we make things together. Our soup ingredients include fresh carrots from the, the Sopmatch family farm in Ontario, cheese from Quebec, with tomatoes from California, and they might cross the border twice on its way to a kitchen or a pantry. To meet the needs of consumers, we utilize the transportation infrastructure that links our nation to export foods and beverages that we make in the US for Canadians, from goldfish crackers to Pepperidge Farm cookies and crackers to V8 juices, and then the other way for box soups. And as a longtime member of the CABC, Campbell's has continued to support policies that would attract and create jobs in both countries and turn all North America into an export engine. We support a successful implementation of Beyond the Border, the joint action plan announced by Prime Minister Harper and President Obama in 2011 to create a shared vision for perimeter security and economic competitiveness. We also believe that the Canada-United States Regulatory Cooperation Council has an important role to play in aligning regulatory approaches of our nations so our economies can grow while safeguarding health, safety, and the environment. Personally, I have a keen interest in international trade and the enduring partnership between the United States and Canada as a member of the President's Export Council in Washington, DC. Built on shared values, a strong relationship between the United States and Canada is critical to prosperity and security of our nations and our citizens. To drive economic growth in North America and compete in a global economy, I believe that we must continue to strengthen and expand our business and trading partnerships. Today, we live in a complex world where the future of the food industry is being shaped by powerful demographic, economic, and social shifts as well as changing consumer preferences with respect to food. For all this change, I believe in the power of food to connect people 
And I believe it's more potent than ever. And I'm sure that everyone in this room can recall moments when food connects you to your loved ones, to warm memories, and to what's important to you today. In this changing world, I believe that winning companies will connect with people and deliver high performance in the marketplace, driven by a clear and singular purpose that re resonates with consumers and aligns their needs and values. At Campbell's, our purpose is real food that matters for life's moments. And people trust us to provide food and drink that is good, honest, authentic, and flavorful, made from ingredients that are grown, prepared, cooked, or baked with care. And it's why Campbell's products are found in 90% of homes where our food fits their real lives. And our purpose reflects the belief that food should be delicious, accessible, and affordable, all three, without compromise. We also believe in that what we do matters, that we have a responsibility to safeguard the natural resources that we share, to help communities thrive. We are fulfilling this responsibility in Canada and the United States through our strong commitment to supporting hunger relief and nonprofit organizations, and through our global sustainability initiatives to reduce greenhouse gas emissions and water consumption and promote sustainable agriculture. Looking ahead, I am confident that our countries will continue to make things together and forge even stronger partnerships that will also make a difference in people's lives. The people in the United States stand with the people of Canada. We stand with Canada on solemn days when we mourn the loss of heroes like Corporal Nation Cirillo. And we stand with you as we strive to build a brighter future together, a future of peace and prosperity. So thank you again to the CABC for this wonderful recognition, which I will happily share with our Campbell Canada employees when I meet them tomorrow. So thank you very much and good night. Merci beaucoup et bonne nuit.